Thanks for watching Notorious Bassing. Today we're going to share with you our quest to get an official IGFA Grand Slam. Now if you're curious what that is, you could go to IGFA.org and there's a section here called Angler Recognition. You guys probably know the IGFA for keeping track of world records, but they also have a number of angler recognitions that they give. Um, including a Grand Slam Club, a Royal Grand, Grand Slam Club, tro Trophy Fish Club, uh, quite a few different things. So if you go over to the Grand Slam Club, what that is, is the in a one day period, if you catch three species of a, of a particular type of fish, that's called a Grand Slam, if you do that in a single day. Four species in a day is a Super Grand Slam and five species in a day as a fantasy slam. And you could do this either with fly tackle or with conventional tackle. And you have to follow the rules of the IGFA. Here are the different types of grand slams that are available. There's a bass grand slam, which is what we're gonna go after. And the possible species for that are a largemouth bass, a rock bass, a smallmouth bass, striped bass, spotted shoal white and white rock bass there's other options available such as a billfish uh, inshore grand slam offshore grand slam a salmon one a shark a trout and a tuna but it's this bass grand slam that's what we're going to go after so here you can see the people who have received grand slams it's an um, alphabetical order at the top you can see Matt Allen from Tactical Bassing, which I'm sure you guys know. He did a Grand Slam on Lake Berryessa back in September of 2015. You can see a few others from people who've done this in California, at Lake Mendocino, um, Lake Berryessa has quite a few. You can scroll down here and see all the different ones that are available there. And you can see there's also this IGFA um, fly bass grand slam but we're gonna do the uh, standard grand slam but you could also see the super grand slam which is the four species in a day both conventional and fly and then you could see the fantasy slam and that is with um, five species now the grand slam that we're gonna go after is the bass grand slam and we're gonna try to th do this on conventional gear we're gonna do it on the California Delta a place where it is possible and we've caught grand slams a number of times we just haven't documented them so this will be the first time we document them we'll do it together and we'll do it with video and we are going to target the largemouth the smallmouth and the striped bass So now we're on the board. This gets us our first fish, largemouth bass.
we've got our second fish, a striped bass. Decided to record another largemouth bass, this time with better lighting. <laughs> we got an extra bonus fish here, a squawfish, or also known as a Sacramento pike minnow, which completes the Delta Grand Slam. And then finally we cut our last fish, the smallmouth bass, and that completes our Grand Slam. We do plan on trying for a fly Grand Slam for bass, as well as a trout Grand Slam, so stay tuned. Now let's look at the actual Grand Slam application. You can download it once again at IGFA.org. And you just basically need to check off what you're applying for. In our case, we're applying for a bass Grand Slam photos of each of the fish as well as you need a witness for that and you'll see this here so we just have to list the species we catch in our case it's the large mouth the small mouth and the striped bass estimated weight whether we caught it on convention or fly gear the location the um, weight of the line or the, the poundage test of the line and the type of lure that we're using you have the angler um, information here and then you have a uh, witness there and then there's other information such as you have to do uh, an affidavit and it needs to be signed in front of a notary. On our journey of catching an IGFA Grand Slam. Hopefully you like this video. If you do please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on our next video.